Hello, my beautiful collective. We are back again with another reading. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it, and I hope that you are doing well. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Like the video, you guys. And if it resonates with you, put a crystal ball in the in the comments. I was going to say in the chat. <laughs> put a crystal ball in the comments, you guys. Or any affirmations that affirm positivity from this reading. Okay. Anything you guys need to know is below. If you would like to purchase a personal reading, I have some more affordable options for you. Where you can either dive deep or have a little quickie to see what it is you need to know. So be sure to check out the link in the description box to my website if you would like a personal. Also, thank you to everyone who has contributed to the channel. I really appreciate all of you, all the subscribers, my moderators, and all of the people who leave comments or donate. Thank you guys so much. If you would like to contribute to the channel financially, please do so through PayPal. I don't trust this platform, so thank you in advance. The PayPal link is in the description below. So let's see what the messages are for you guys. You guys are on a journey. I just heard the road less traveled, so okay. I'm not going to keep these because I didn't really say anything, but let's look. Oh, wow, the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. I might keep it. Shoot. I feel like this is kind of the energy that you're in right now. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're on top of the wheel. Luck is on your side. You're extremely lucky right now, you guys. The energy is ripe for you to pursue your dreams, to pursue your goals. Some of you might be dating someone or going out on a date with someone that makes you feel very lucky to be alive, okay? Or you're just experiencing situations that make you feel really lucky, um, period. I feel like you guys could be, I mean, you could be the masculine or the feminine, but I feel like you guys could really just be feeling like good, like in your energy, feeling like yourself again. Very grounded as well. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Some of you may be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Maybe Sagittarius or Aries. But we have um, the Knight of Cups here. So someone's feelings are changing. They Or their feelings are evolving. There's a person whose feelings are evolving for you over time. And they may present you with some type of uh, emotional or romantic gesture. But you're against anyone from the past. So someone is presenting you with something and you kind of don't see it or your eyes are closed. Maybe because they're from your past. And you don't want to deal with that. So it's like you're making this. You, you've made a decision to move forward. But it's like you know that your past is like pulling on you. That's not always because it's meant to be. Sometimes that's because you're about to move forward and there are forces that try to keep you from moving forward. Um, some of you have blocked a Scorpio or uh, a, maybe this could be a sibling. Some of you have a Scorpio brother who you blocked or sister maybe, but I feel like it's a brother. Some of you have a sibling. It doesn't matter who from your past that you've blocked or you've created a boundary between you and this person. Some of you have a child's mother, child's father, an ex that you've blocked from the past. Or someone from the past that you just have grown out of. Like you've grown out of this situation. So you have blocked it off in some way. Yeah, the Empress. Exactly. You've grown from this situation. Therefore, you've grown out of whatever this is. Okay. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. That's Ten Pentacles. Now is the perfect time for you to take advantage of a new opportunity that's being presented to you financially. Something that you're putting your energy into. Something that is hard work. It's not necessarily going to be an easy ride. But it's something that's worth the time. It's worth the energy. It's worth your effort to where you're going to get a massive return on it long term. Like the more you put time into this the more return on your investment that you're going to get. It's like you're at the beginning, but you have the potential to be at the nine of pentacles if you work hard on whatever this is. 
doesn't matter what it is, whatever resonates for you. We have the star card and the six of pentacles. Yeah, you're hoping to be paid from this. This seems like a career opportunity, a business um, or some type of um, investment that you're making into something or someone you expect to be recouped from this. You expect to be giving back whatever you put in, or that's what you should expect. That's what you're hoping for. And that's what I feel like you're going to get. I feel like the universe is on your side. You've prayed about something. Some of you have prayed about um, being able to have some money come in because you feel like maybe your money is um, imbalanced. And you've been praying for more stability when it comes to your finances. I feel like whatever this opportunity is that you're thinking about is going to bring the stability, but you have to be um, focused and you have to work hard. You have to earn it. Okay. We're in the North Node Taurus. Is, North Node is in Taurus right now. So you can't just put a little bit of effort and get a lot of return. We're out of that time. You have to work hard for everything that you do. This could be Virgo energy. You could be a Virgo. You could be an Aquarius for some of you guys. Maybe some of you guys are Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like Earth energy is really strong here or is highly aspected in your chart. What's the Knight of Cups for my collective? What's the Knight of Cups? Okay, we have the Page of Wands. So yeah, somebody's going to send you a message. They're going to be expressing these feelings. Okay, what is this Knight of Cups? Can I get one more? What is this Knight of Cups? Ten of Swords. So I feel like somebody feels like you hurt their feelings. You hurt someone's feelings by walking away from them and they're going to text you or DM you. Interesting. They they thought y'all were working on a family or working on a relationship or something like that. Or that's what you were working towards. They That's what they thought. Maybe you guys weren't on the same page. Okay. What's the Ten of Swords? Oh, my God, the whole deck exploded. I don't know if you were arguing with this person or what, but Jesus. There may have been an argument or some type of explosion or somebody's going to possibly try to get you into an argument. They're going to say that you lied or. Yeah, there's the tower. Look at that. I'm keeping it because that's what I felt. Um, somebody is coming towards you and they're really, I don't know. I feel like they're angry and they want to just, they want to throw things up in the air or throw things at you. Isn't that a saying where you throw something up in the air, throwing it up in your face? Yeah. What's the 10 of swords? Can I get two more cards? What is the 10 of swords? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're like, no. Not with the drama. What else is the Ten of Swords? Ten of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. I feel like some of you guys may have cut someone off unexpectedly. Or there was an unexpected change. This was with a Capricorn. Yeah, you changed your mind. You decided to work on your business or your career or to focus on like your work or something like that. Now, if you have this person blocked, you don't know this, but they could be like trying to reach out to you. Like, why did you, they may reach out to you from another phone number, like a phone number that you don't know, but I feel like you already blocked this person. It's like somebody, there's a Capricorn or a Virgo, maybe a Taurus, but there's a Capricorn or a Virgo who you like released because you felt like they were too disruptive in your life. Or you felt like you would regret dealing with them or something like that. you got to change your heart with this person. And I don't think they're too happy about it. Because they feel 
hurt by what you did. I don't even know if you really did anything, but like they feel hurt. And they may want to reach out to you. They may try to reach out to you and start some type of argument. Um, putting a lot of feelings on you. Maybe you went out on a date with this person. You didn't like them after the date. Yeah, they're in their head about this. Maybe because they haven't heard from you. Nine of Wands and the Chariot. Yeah. This person may have a lot of like anxiety or paranoia. You may have picked up on this. And you didn't want to have their energy reverberating off onto you. Yeah, it's like somebody is wanting to tell you something. It's like they're coming towards you really quickly because they want to talk to you. But I, I feel like they're, they may, see, this could also be someone who's celebrating in their life. But something that they did threw you off. Like something that they did or the way that they've treated you somehow something has turned you off with this person or made you question them in some way. So either they made you question them and you separated yourself and they're angry about that or they went off all of a sudden and did something different in their life, maybe possibly hurt you not knowing that they hurt you and they're coming back around to tell you something positive and you're like, well, that's good, but you treated me like this. So I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? Like that, that's kind of how it feels. Somebody's unaware that they hurt the other person and the response or the uh, message or whatever this is, the communication may not be what either of you expect. So if you hurt them and you didn't realize it by taking whatever action you took, they may reach out to you negatively. If they hurt you and they're reaching out to you about something positive, the response that you give them may not be what they expect. It may be negative, okay? That's what I feel. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Oop, my bad, I hit the camera. Ooh, the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords. You're speaking positivity over yourself. Your affirmations are really working because you guys feel extremely protected. You feel extremely balanced, powerful, strong. Wow, the hangman is in reverse. Interesting. I didn't know that, but the hangman is in reverse. So there's something about your family that you're not realizing. I feel like there's a family situation or something that you're not seeing or you're you're refusing to be stuck with like people in your family who don't want to see you succeed something like that okay what's the uh two of wands oh the king of wands in reverse okay what else is the two of wands the ten of cups yeah I feel like you're just deciding not to do things that you don't want to do. Yeah, five of cups, six of pentacles. You're deciding not to put energy and time into things that you don't really want to do. That's what I feel. Okay, what's this knight of swords right here? Wow, that's a lot of cards. And the four of pentacles is in reverse too. How did that happen? So you may be trying to figure out... How how did someone all of a sudden decide to open up to you or why? Why? Yeah, you're like, why is why are you talking to me about this now? That's what I feel like you're asking. Yeah, two of cups and the five of cups. Yeah, it's like you're confused about why someone is opening up to you now. Yeah, the hermit and the two of pentacles. You're like, why are you saying something now? Like, I, I feel like it's been a long time or something like that since whatever this is happened. Or you're like, you're just saying something about this now? Uh, 
I don't know. Somebody may be upset about some money that you owe them. I feel like someone could be upset about some money that you owe them or you th they owe you money and they haven't paid it back, but they're just talking to you about something else. It's like, why are you not paying me back? Or something like that. It's something about some money. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's like, you're just, why didn't you tell me this earlier? Like... What's the King of Wands reversed? Jesus Christ. Sorry, y'all. Oh, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody's angry about something. The Eight of Wands, yeah. They're coming towards you. Somebody's coming towards you to have a conversation. And they're sad or they're confused. They really want to talk. Like somebody really wants to talk to you about how they feel. And it's something that has hurt them. About like something that you did. It's like they're something was taking too long. Either it was taking too long for you to respond back. And that hurt them. It's pro you probably didn't respond back because you didn't plan on responding back. Uh, or you haven't talked to them in a long time and it hurt them. Or you owe somebody some money, you haven't paid them back. And they're trying to figure out why it's taking you so long to pay them back. But I feel like it's because you're trying to get yourself out of a financial hole. But it's like you look like you're taken care of. But I really feel like you are you just portray this stability about yourself or this air of like everything is fine but I feel like you have things going on that people don't really know about but you're just very private about it ten of cups yeah the four somebody is dissatisfied four of wands so we got the four of cups four of wands four of pentacles yeah somebody is disappointed with the relationship I don't know this could be a friend a relative family member somebody's disappointed about a relationship Yeah, and the Six of Pentacles. So if somebody owes you some money, they're going to tell you why they've been having trouble paying you back. Or you're going to tell this person why you've been having trouble paying them back. If it's about money. Right? If this is about like a relationship, friend, family member, platonic, romantic, professional, whatever this is. I feel like you just don't have the energy or the effort to give to this person because you're focusing on something else that you want to accomplish, but they feel hurt because you're not giving them that energy or that time. And it's like, I really don't think that you're going to change your mind. I feel like you've already decided how you feel. I feel like you don't like the way that they're talking to you, especially if it's like a relationship. But it's to me, it's like, you're not going to change what you're doing to appease someone else's ego. That's what I feel. Cause somebody has a really big ego, but they communicate inconsistently or they don't want to communicate all the time. Like, I don't know, this could be you. I, I'm not saying you have a big ego, but you may not always feel like talking to this person. You, I feel like there's a family situation or a relationship situation that either you or someone else is disappointed with and you don't always feel like talking. Like, you don't always want to talk. I feel like you're thinking, you're strategizing, you're trying to create opportunities for yourself or your kids or your family. And it's like, okay, I don't have time to sit on the phone with you all day or something like that. Maybe that's how somebody feels about you. But it's like somebody is, I feel pretty angry and they're communicating like they, they're they putting, they, there's a lot of emphasis on their words, like they're talking really fast. And I just feel like 
you may you may even it's like there's this air of confusion like what are you saying i feel like you're getting lost in what this person is saying because they're saying so much Some of you could also have a friend or family member who's confiding in you about something that they're dealing with and they're just really like um, emotional about it. Not necessarily to the point where they're crying, but it's like they just, there's been so much going on. So check on your people. That's what I would say. Someone may be checking on you and it kind of just pours out of you, but there could also be a person here who's angry that you haven't paid them back or they're angry that you haven't text them back or communicate it with them okay what's the advice for my collective or you're upset about that and someone reach out to you like they didn't do that to you okay love surrounds you go with the flow and still waters run deep so there's a lot that you don't know there's a lot that's hidden under the surface that you don't see so just try to take it as it comes and know that you have support you have support from people around you, love surrounds you, whether it's in the physical form of people who are actually here or whether it's people who are in the spiritual realm, but you don't have to go through this alone. So reach out if you need to, accept the help when you need to, um, and listen if somebody feels like they can confide in you, I guess the best that you can, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the message. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, y'all. So y'all can be caught up every time I post. Leave a crystal ball in the chat if you are resonating with this message. And if you would like to book a reading or donate to the channel, the links are below. See y'all next time. Bye.